Susan uh, Martinosi from first. Harvey <laughs> Mudd College, one of the top mathematicians in America, is joining us now. Hi, Susan. Susan, good morning. Good morning. Here How we go. Is Mark's theory correct? Can you buy a guaranteed lotto win? Well, I've got good news and bad news on that front. So mathematically, uh, there are 302,575,530 combos that would win the mega jackpot. Okay. Um, so that would so you could actually, you know, fill out all the cards um, and and guarantee yourself a win that way. But it would cost you six hundred five million dollars and change okay. to do that um, to get your your jackpot. And assuming that you took about thirty seconds to fill out each card, it yeah. would take you about two hundred eighty eight years. Oh, <laughs> well, there goes two hundred and eighty eight <laughs> years to fill out. Well, darn it. <laughs> There goes I, that theory. Hey, listen, I got time on my hands. <laughs> okay. 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 Um, okay. Now, now, Susan, there was something else interesting that we yes. learned about today, and yes. maybe people are familiar with this movie that's out called Yes, Jerry and Marge Go Large. Yes. Yes. And it's a true story. Yes. Correct. And they did buy a lottery. I don't know if it had as many numbers. They recruited the entire town, and they did buy the lottery. Right. So based on a true story. Okay. Susan. Based on, and there's actually there's good. But be, you, was it the Mega Millions? No. Was no. it? No, I don't know. The no. one based on 300. Well, no. that's the question. But, We're yeah. not talking about the local okay. raffle. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> We're talking about the mega millions yeah. with one of the preeminent I, mathematicians I forget in America. What, uh, I forget how much um, the jackpot or how many common right. numbers, but they recruited the whole town. Everybody who sat there at home yes. filled out cards. Susan. So that takes my 288 years <laughs> down to 188 years. Right, Susan, assuming that, let's set aside the 208, let's say you get bots who could quickly do it for you or something, mm -hmm. right? And you, and you somehow guarantee the win. What are some of the other practical implications? If you add in federal tax, state taxes were applicable, um, and uh, uh, other winners. If you have another winner, mm -hmm. what would that do to your, the math? Right, so, so you're looking at, you have to outlay over $605 million to engage in this experiment, uh, which is a hefty price. And then if there's you know, somebody that you have to share the jackpot with, then you're dividing that $1.1 billion by two, so you're looking at 550 million that you get in return. So you're already now out negative 50 million dollars. This isn't looking good. Um, not it to mention like a the taxes. Investment. It's <laughs> some kind of weird pyramid scheme he's in. You're, now, Susan. You know, Susan, you're a dream crusher. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay, I have a question for Susan. Okay. Does it make a difference if, let's say, the regular person wants to play the lotto? and I go and buy one ticket versus I go and buy 100 tickets. Are my chances any better, really? Are you increasing your odds? You are increasing your odds of a win. And remember, there are other prizes, not just the mega jackpot. True. So it's true, the more times you play, the more likely it is you're going to hit on some combination of numbers that wins you some money. Um, the, the challenge is that these lotteries are designed to bring in revenue to the state in net. And so they are structured in such a way that on average, the, the lottery gets more money than it disperses, which means that as a player, these are designed so that on average, you lose more money than you win. So if the lottery, um, if your ticket costs you $2 a ticket, mm -hmm. on average, once you factor in all of the different combinations you might play and your chances of winning, on average, you are winning less than two dollars per ticket. Mark, you're refusing to give up. No, no, no. I, I, I give up on this. But Susan, I've got another thing I do. <laughs> I, buy, <laughs> I buy. Here's another theory. theory. I buy two tickets with the same number. Do you know what that does to me? <laughs> <laughs> No, tell me. <laughs> no, she doesn't. Okay, tell no, no, her. no. Here, this one's gonna blow your mind. Okay, let's say, <laughs> let's say I win, and Frank wins. Yes. By me having two tickets, I get two thirds of the prize. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Is that true? Did that Susan? blow your mind, yeah. Susan? It's true. <laughs> She's, I think, speechless. I think it blew her mind. <laughs> <laughs>
there, I, so I love I love a good lottery, and I, I instructed my husband to go out and buy us a couple tickets okay, for the, the right. jackpot. Even though I know that on average we're going to lose money, um, there's always that hope. Uh, but there are better ways to invest your money than uh, relying. On <laughs> thank you for playing. Not this. according to Mark. Christie. Susan, thank you. Aren't you surprised he didn't get accepted into uh, Harvey Mudd College? <laughs> I am. Thank you, Susan. Susan Martinosi from Harvey Mudd College. Uh,